In this video, we're going to go through some properties of logs and see how to rewrite these as expressions involving only x and y in numbers. So what we're given is that log base a of 2 equals x and log base a of 3 equals y. That means we want to rewrite these expressions in terms of log base a of 2 and log base a of 3. So if we think about how to factor 12 so that we can get a base 2 and a base 4, then we could say, okay, well, that's log base a of 4 times 3, which is, based on our property here, we could rewrite that as the sum of two separate logs. Log base a of 4 plus log base a of 3. Now remember, 4 is 2 squared. So this is log base a of 2 squared plus log base a of 3. We have a property that says we can pull the exponent out front. So this is 2 log base a of 2 plus log base a of 3. And log base a of 2 is equal to x log base a of 3 is equal to y, so this could simplify to 2x plus y. So, that's how we're looking to employ the properties here. Now, let's come to the next one. Now we have division, and so this could be rewritten using our second property here. Log base a of 3 minus log base a of 8, and with the log base a of 8, we could write that as 2 cubed, which allows us to pull that 3 out front. So we have 2 log base a of 3 minus 3 log base a of 2. So in terms of x and y, remember this is y, I can rewrite this as y minus 3 times x. And I put this last one in here to be careful. We do not have a property for division of separate logs. All I can really do here is I have log base a of 3 squared over log base a of 2 squared. I can pull those exponents out front, so I have 2 log base a of 3 over 2 log base a of 2. If I want, I can cancel those 2's, and what I get is y divided by x.